Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match. Today, on the right side, I'm playing 5e, one of the decks you guys gave me during the stream. Um, already, you can see a lot of differences in it. 50 cals in it, 20 mil trucks in it, stuff I don't usually bring. Um, funny here, I can't pronounce the name, playing 56. And uh, let's go over deployments. So, opening up with three AMXs, two going to the southern front to get an angle here, shooting on this main road. Another AMX just trying to look down the main road, like right around here. And then we have one more AMX to prevent any type of rushing over here. He does get, he can rush in this town. People do get over here before I do. We do have some airborne, but I want to make sure he can't use any of his BMPs and so on. So I'm bringing one AMX over there. Got two, uh, four, sorry, three of the 50 cals coming with the uh, Dragon Perez, uh, four deploy troops. And then we opening up with a 20 mil over here just to make sure he doesn't have any helos, anything like that. With one CV going to the north. And we have one CV going to the south, one rolling three, another 20 mil, two Grandier Voltigas, two Flamers, and one Reservus. And we're going to rush into this position here. Our opponent here opening up with a Napalm. I'm going to try to Napalm this road here, preventing me from rushing. Uh, kind of a mistake. He probably should have Napalm this section if he's going to do it. But, you know, he shouldn't do it. It's, it's bad uh, bad taste. And he's opening up with one GRU with Grenade Launcher Truck, two, three BMP2s. He takes them all double vet, which is pretty interesting. A Conqueror's here, which she also takes double vet as well. Another CV going to the north, a CV going to the south with double vet BMP2s with the uh, good old uh, Pomochiki going into the center with two Iglas, a Superi, and it's another Superi. Uh, this one is a Satchel, this one's a Flamer. And let's kick this game off. So general strategy here, pretty standard for 5e. Push along the sides here and cut off reinforcements while you're, some of your elite, few elite CQC infantry you get to push them out. At least that was a general strat. Napalm coming here. He wastes 185 points now. We are 185 points positive to him. Or at least makes up for us buying these 35 point. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's negative for sure in that, in that trade. We're going to get some key positions here. We're going to unload in this position here. We do see the Stingers unloading here. Uh, GRU Stinger. Can't lose it to every squad in the game. Does have AT though and this as well. Um, I'm going to move up his grenade launcher to engage me. It's 40 points and the 40 points are going to go down into the ground. That's first kill of the game for us, leading us to a little bit of an early lead. He's going to retreat his Stinger here to 60 points. We're going to start rotating here. He did delay us, though, from getting in the key position and shoot these reinforcements. So the BMP2s are still exposed. Um, got a little bit of action going on on the north. We did get a hit, one hit on the BMP2 with this. And we're going to fire one of the round. And we kill the BMP2. Over here, we have a little more action. Conquerors does take out an AMX. And we're going now pushing into this town. Much as possible, this BMP2 is double vet, has 60% accuracy. A miss, and he gets a hit on us, even though he's smoked. <coughs> a little too late on the smoke micro. Over here, because he did do a drive-by, which is interesting, we do immediately are going to buy a wave of reinforcements for this position. I thought things were going pretty well over here. Snipe his BMP2. So I was like, all right, we're going to buy a wave of infantry to make sure he doesn't get into this town now. Um, lock it down. All these flame troops are moving in. He's got one Moto Shoki. Rezeka here now, but against the 4v1, um, not going to happen, even double veteran C. <laughs> you can see him just getting flamed down instantly. AMX going to keep moving here on the side. We do see an MI-24. That's what the 20 mils are for. Uh, we're going to start engaging this MI-24. It does have 10% ECM. I'm just going to buy a fighter, because I saw this wasn't really doing much. Firing again. Win on the rounds. You are stressing him out. <coughs> Does kill us though, um, which sucks, but he is stunned, so he's stuck in position. We're moving up. Rolling three gets a nice hit there. Mirage coming in to mop him up. Clean kill, loses that. Does get two hits on the Iglas, but the third one he's gonna need to get the kill. And now we're gonna mop up his entire center position here. He's gonna lose his Iglas. He's gonna use this napalm thrower here, but we're gonna rotate one of these AMXs wide here to help out in the situation. He's got zero AA now, but we do see uh, more superior coming in here. Two versions, the satchels coming with the rocket transports, and then the uh, flamethrowers coming with the good old napalm thrower uh, BTR, which is really, really strong. AMX, so putting down rounds here. And you can see our next wave reinforcements are arriving. He is probing this area, so I think we made the right decision by buying reinforcements. Uh, make sure that he knows I'm in here with some presence. Um, see two napalms coming in here, though. Oh, we only have one roll in three, so no good. We're going to buy another fighter momentarily. He's going to napalm this entire section. We're going to back the heck up. Do get one first hit in. 
And Rolling Three is going to fire again, fire another shot, get a clean kill there. We're backing up these squads. Our Mirage tries to get the kill here, misses all of its missiles, sadly. We fire some of our 30 mil, but he disappears. Evac border wise. <laughs> Over here, though. She some action going on a little bit. He's trying to probe this area, not being, knocking out these tra transports. Our Mirage is probably going to be evac momentarily, being that it only has 30 mil. Find an additional roll in three. AMX 10s. Make sure we have the AA cover. And get the CV. And we're just getting free kills on all these BTRs, which are 55 points, right? Grenadier, for example, is 55 points. And we're just popping them one after another. They're not really doing a lot of damage. bmp 2 d here taking a shot. He is triple vet. We're going to fire one more round. Hopefully get the kill. We do get the kill. That saves us from a death. we got two squads here left. It's a little bit concerning. Over here, we're finally doing a 3v1 sniper firing from here. Grenadier Voltakeo is firing from here. Flames doing damage with the medium machine gun. We're just kind of keeping with suppress here. The AMX is here. We don't have we killed a whole full squad in that building right there on that transport. We're just trying to kill these transports here. We can deal with all the infantry later, as much as we want. We're gonna buy two gazelle cannons. Talk about things I don't bring. This is part of this guy's deck, so uh, they are. We'll use them. They are. They do seem a little bit overpriced, honestly. They are 20 mils, but they they die to one, they one shot to everything, so <laughs> they're pretty expensive. 50 points a pop. Um, but they do put down firepower like crazy though when they are uncontested, which he is because we have our AMX pretty forward deploy. Two T62s, double vet coming in though to help out the situation. And we do have this AMX in town, kind of knowing that he has no AT, just superior. But the command we gotta watch out for. So cannon over here. See the, you can actually see the thing rotating. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Trying to run into better cover here. But we do. He does get one shot off on us, doing some damage. We're going to retreat. Oh, well, he's routed. But we're going to retreat the same mechs into better cover. He's got no recon here, so he can't see anything. We miss our shot, though. Uh, we got some reinforcements coming, though, so infantry wise, to help support. Get a nice hit there. Only doing three damage, though. And they're going to open up on the one they can see. It's routed. And he does go down. I thought he was aiming at this one. Was mistaken. Gazelle cannons are doing work here. On all four of these squads, so he's gonna kill one of us. Comes in, fires a shot, we get a nice hit on him. Rolling three is firing another round. And we do get a nice hit there with the rolling three. And the Mirage is turning off now. Mirage still has three of its missiles. Honkers here. I smoke off this AMX. HE bomber's gonna come in here, try to kill these two CC2s. Doesn't get a kill, but significantly weakens both of them to really low health. Killed one T62 there. Fortunately, conquers though, taking a hit here. Going down. Misses that T62 shot. And we're gonna fire some rounds there, killing a conquers there. Napalm's coming in here. Napalming a target here. I'm not really sure what. Our fighter comes in though. Misses a lot. Misses a lot, a lot. Turn back around. Just got one more missile. All right, one more. Get a nice hit. I'm gonna try to evac. MiG-23 is coming in though. He's gonna chase us pretty deep though. He's making a huge mistake here. 185 points. Takes a hit from the Rollins. He's gonna turn right back and evacing into the Rollins. Rollins fire the shots. Get a clean kill there. Losing another plane, which is pretty brutal. And we're just turning down some rounds here. We're gonna back the heck up. Missile drips out. He's got a wounded tank. <laughs> I'm bring up some ammo. He's almost having only got five rounds left. And he's buying some BMP2s. We'll go a little fast here. Three speed being that he has to rebuild his entire force here. Do anything. He's getting a little ballsy here. Keeping the C62 here. He's building up a huge wave over here it looks like. Looking like he wants to probe on the northern front now. This is a mistake. You start dividing your forces when you're already losing a sector and don't have anything going on the other sector. It's pretty, uh, you know, pretty scary, especially if there's about even on the front line over here, which we are. We have about an even amount of forces over here at this point. He's buying some 122s here to help out. And I'm going to play pretty aggressive here. We're going to start driving down this road. And Mex is going to start driving down this road. 
I'm not going to let him complete plat passive here. We kill the C62, smoke off. I try to kill that Conquerors, kill the Conquerors. We're going to back off again. 2D is moving in here. This is where you want to capitalize on the winning here. We're going to go now make him open up a whole nother theater. I'm sending this back here to see if he has any fobs or any AA or sorry, any uh, artillery he can catch. But he's got two over here, two 122s. Take some double vet, which is kind of crazy to me. We have one little AA piece here to help out in the situation. This is Alcan though. Not going to do any good against BMP 2Ds. They will be annihilated. I'm trying to run away. <laughs> like, no, 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 let's not do that. Get some AMXBs here driving up. Not going to make him go. Even more negative. Fighter comes over here, does shoot us down. Artillery is looking for a target here. Let's see what it's aiming at. When we kill, it's a little recon here. For some reason we cannot see. Oh, now we do. He's smoking. He wants to push over here, it looks like, with all his infantry. Now we've locked down this point. These are double vet BMP2Ds. So you gotta be very careful. Because they are super accurate with their missiles. This is that though, because he gets loses line of sight. Got a Mirage 2000. We bought an AAP to so guard against any sneaky tactics. Got a bomber coming over here. I didn't really expect him to have any, uh, a you know, AA. <laughs> so I was like, oh, we'll do something. Got some ATGM carriers on the side here to help out. Um, but we don't see any AA. So I was like, oh, this is free bombing run. mp 2 ds here coming in, takes a hit, goes down. Uh, he does have a Conqueror in this building, though. Over here, we're kind of losing these 2Ds. Sadly. We're going to remove this fighter over to help out against this helo. And the only thing that really made up here is this one BTR with no ammo. Buying two artillery pieces now. Lose our tank. Get an MI24 here as well now. Hilo comes in, get the clean kill, we're gonna fire around. Immediately gets a nice kill with the MiG-23 and Shrella. Very, very disappointed. Mirage 2000, flying back over into my A net, which we do, we shoot him down and we get away. Um, but looking not too good over here. Taking some round, we did smoke, but nothing too amazing happening. We get our A piece. Try to stun him. Fire again. Nope. I think next time we need two of them. AT's here now. Kills our good old TV there. And we are going to go down there. We have a fighter coming back around. I really want to kill this MI-24. It is a good helo. My artillery is kind of battering him. We get a clean kill there. Kill that Mirage 2000. Oh, sorry, the Mirage 2000. Got the kill there. We are going to lose his objective here. Over here, a little bit more action. He just moved in, but we got C CQC troops in here. And AT, so really not too concerned. He does have some superior, though. Putting on some firepower. We're not... Uh, we're gonna buy some reinforcements here just in case though and sadly he brings the superior and the amx's which is gonna be really slow um but yeah at this point though we're doing pretty good there's only a couple minutes on the clock he's just gonna go up to plus two they're only gonna give us a plus two on him he's got his ptr roaming around now and he did win this engagement but not enough to really capitalize anything he's got nothing in reserve even if he did, we have reinforcements coming. A lot of reinforcements now. I'm pretty content now with opening up a defensive line. We do have eyes on this BMP2 with the superior right here. Um, we can see from my perspective what we can see. We just, well, I mean, we had eyes a second ago. Now it disappeared. <laughs> I don't know why. But we got eyes on it. Plus, he hasn't moved it since he's fired on me. He's going to shift though pretty quickly. That well, was pretty good micro by him. I was a little disappointed by my lack of kill there. Um, these guys are reinforcing now. I'm going to push him out. He's got two wounded superior squads. Already aiming at the Shrella M. Shrella M, he takes double vet at 90 points pop. <coughs> Expensive. 
and superior. We're keeping them, my guys, at range. Just doing good damage there. And he's got nothing, nothing on the rear end here to stop me. Do you see I'm pushing across here? We do have this Dragon Pair with Sniper Rifle. He's going start aiming at me, though. With his really, really shitty 122s. They'll only do two HE damage. These things are terrible. I don't really see why he brings them. You see, that's not doing much. <laughs> he does stun me, but he does no HE damage to me. And he shifts. I was not interested in shifting. And we have, these are way better. These do three HE damage. Two of them pretty much snipe everything. This one did get stunned though, so he's not putting down too much rounds. It's not really micro in this one. And we do get the kill still with one. There are fighters coming in here. HE bombers coming in here. We're gonna go for this Conquerors. Cool. Get a clean kill there. He's gonna try to shoot us over here, but we got a Rollins all up in him, and now he's going down there. And he is pushing pretty well over here, honestly. But yeah. Artillery, though, looking to get another kill. I'm, I'm kind of curious where his artillery was. Um, but we're locking him down out now. Now our reinforcement superior coming in here. Our superior versus superior. Ours was zero vet, but tatchels don't discriminate based on veterancy. So I just don't bring them. And unfortunately for me, the 20 mils don't have any form of uh, <laughs> ATGM. And it... His are uh, 30 mil and we're 20 mil. He's gonna sink a CV in here momentarily. We do have a plane mirage coming in here, going in for the MI24 AA. We're not gonna let him get away with this. Moves in here with satchels. Satchels are gonna get him. You stun him. He does get his hit on us, so. MiG 23 coming back around. We unloaded two commandos here now. These guys are really great. I'm gonna buy our own Roland over here now. I'm gonna turn back around. He's gonna get a nice clean kill. But these Pomachiki are good squads, double vet, but against this much firepower, we be pretty desperate. Artillery is aiming at these BMP2s. So we got one more AA piece over here. And he goes down there. Artillery fires, gets a killing kill. We actually almost kill this BMP2, we get the kill there. Gets hit here, no death, but, the, but then yeah, he pretty much loses all the objectives there. I think that's a smart way to play with that deck 5e, is just to like cut him off from the key positions. He's a good player as well, uh, plays a lot of team games. But uh, yeah, AMX RCs really showing them, show themselves off here. Annihilating that heavy reliance on the BTR rockets, which are super expensive. You kill like three or four of these and you're paid for an AMX easy. You pay two of them pretty much, you're paid for itself. Because like an AMX is like, what, 140? Seems like 55 points, um, which is crazy. There's out cannon here. Doing work as well. You see though, like usually these things are trash, but you know, doing well. Artillery coming in clutch too, actually doing really well as well. But um the MVP definitely the RC race cars. Um and uh yep, yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, thanks for my opponent for playing. I'll see you guys around and uh thanks for watching.